Hello, I'm Matt Baum and I'm a product manager with Belden. In this video, we're going to show you how to complete the assembly of our FX Fusion splice on connector. In the previous videos, we stripped, cleaned, and cleaved the fiber. For this final step, we'll need our prepared fiber with the loaded boot and uh, heat shrink sleeve as well as the, the spring. We'll need a fusion splicer. And we'll need our fiber stub already loaded into a holder from the previous step. Now, one comment is please make sure whatever splicer you're using that your splice settings are set properly for the connector and fiber that you're using as well as your oven settings. So please refer to the installation guide with your connectors for, for those uh, correct settings. If you haven't done so already, please load the holder into the fusion splicer on the left side of the splicer. Now we can go ahead and load the, 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 the fiber on the other side and we'll want to get the end face close to the electrode but not past it. So we'll go ahead and lock that in and then go ahead and close the wind cover and we'll bring the, the two ends close together and align them. Once they're aligned, we'll go ahead and hit set on this splicer and we'll perform the arc um, and, and splice the fiber together. So that is completed. I'll go ahead and slide up the heat shrink tube as well as the spring so that it's close to the splice. Open up the wind cover. Now the splice, splicer will return the holders to their previous positions. Undo the clamps and lift it out. Now here you want to be careful not to break the splice but you want to slide the heat shrink tube over the splice and onto the ferrule. So an important step here is to make sure that the heat shrink tube covers the white portion of the stub and just touches on the metal ferrule. It does not go over the metal ferrule and you do not need to force it onto the metal ferrule. Just go up so that it touches off on that metal. Now that the heat shrink tube is over the splice correctly, we can open up the oven, place that in the oven and go ahead and close that. And then we're going to hit our heat button and the light's going to come on. We'll go ahead and close this. Now I'll mention again, just please make sure that whatever splicer you're using and the connector that you're using, that you check your installation guide for those proper settings on your oven and your splice. So for this connector, it will take about 20 seconds. So the red light will go off here shortly and we'll know that it is complete. I'll also go ahead and get out my, uh, my housing here, my plastic housing that we'll use to finish the assembly. Now that the light has gone off, the, the heating is complete and the heat shrink tube is shrunk around that splice so we can go ahead and open that. Now when you pull this out be careful not to touch that spring because it can be hot. So we'll go ahead and slide that the boot up over that splice to protect that. And then we're also going to grab this plastic housing and slide this over the stub. Now an important step here is that on the metal ferrule you will see a blue dot. That blue dot should be facing up and the latch on the housing should be facing down. So blue dot should be facing up and latch facing down. And then we're going to go ahead and al align the, the, the latches with the latch windows in the blue part here and go ahead and snap those together. Once those snap together, the assembly is complete. Now we just have a dust cap there and we can go ahead and use scissors and cut off the excess portion of this dust cap. And now we have a much shorter dust cap. And that completes the assembly of our FX Fusion 900 micron connector. Now that that's complete, if you have any additional questions, please be sure to visit our website where you can find installation guides, tech data sheets, or even speak with an expert. Thanks for watching.